All right, guys, during this lecture, we're going to talk about uh, network ranges and the three types of addresses that are in them and bitwise operations. So let's first start with network uh, ranges. A network range, of course, is any address within a specified network, which is, uh, again, separated by your subnet mask. Uh, so let's, let's take a look at the network range of 192.168.1.0. Slash 24. So that's going to have a subnet mask of 255, 255, 255, because there are 24 bits active. Now, let's, let's examine this really closely. There are three addresses we need to be able to pull from this. The first address is what we call the network address. The network address, of course, is the identifier for a network. It's going to identify what that network is. The next addresses or uh, address or addresses we need to know is, of course, your host addresses. So, your host addresses are going to identify a specific device on your network. Then, of course, last but simply not least, you've got what's called your broadcast address. And your broadcast address is always the last address in a network range, just like your network address is always the first. The broadcast address is always the last, and what it does is it'll take a single packet and send it out to all hosts on the network. So it broadcasts it out to everybody. All right, so first we're going to look at the broadcast address or on the network address of this network. The network address of this network is going to be 192.168.1.0. It is the identifier for this network. And because we're using slash 24, that means that every uh, 256 values there will be a new network. So a new network, again, would start on 192.168.2.0, and so on and so forth. 3.0, 4.0, 5.0. Uh, clear up until you run out of uh, addresses in which you then again move up in the next bit. So you'd go 192.168.255.0, and then it would be 192.169.0.0. And so on and so forth until you exhaust all IP addresses. Now, uh, the next next type of address you need to know in a network is your host address. The host address range on this network would be 192.168.1.1 all the way out to 192.168.1.254. One before the last address in the network. And the reason why is, of course, the last network address is reserved for your broadcast address, which is 192.168.1.255. So, uh, something we, we're going to examine really quick in a little more depth is your host address. Your host address, you've got your first address here and your last here. Now, normally but not always in network design, the first address is going to be called the default gateway. And it'll be assigned to, a, uh, to an interface on a router or a layer 3 switch, which is going to route packets out of that network. Um, now again, you could have any uh, IP address in that host range be your default gateway. It's just common design and uh, pretty much good, a good idea, because that way everybody will get the idea of uh, to use that first network for your gateway address. So uh, every other address from uh, the 2 to the 254 are available to hosts, whether those be computers, printers, smart devices, whatever it is, uh, they're available to the rest of the hosts on the network. Now, let's start into bitwise operations. Now that we know what a network address is, we might want to know how to calculate it from a uh, host address in a network. Okay, so the first component, of course, is going to be a, an IP version 4 address. 
So let's take, uh, for instance, 192.64.8. Uh, let's go 16 as an address. And then let's use the subnet mask uh, insider notation slash 24. So we'll use the subnet mask 255.255.255.0. In order to define a network, you must have an IPv4 address and you must have a subnet mask. Those are the two required components. So, let's take a look. Let's, let's write these out in binary so we understand what we're going to be doing. Okay, 192, dot, uh, 192 is going to be 11000000. And then, of course, you're going to have the next bit dot. Zero one zero 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 dot zero 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 one zero 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 dot zero 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 one zero 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 zero. So that's your binary equivalent of that network address or that net host address on a network. Now the subnet mask is going to be one 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 dot one 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 dot one 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 dot one one oh dot zero 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 so you've got twenty four ones followed by eight zeros now before we go any farther let's kind of discuss op bitwise operations what bitwise operations is are is they are the very basic commands that uh, happen to bits. They are what bits go through to check and to move around and to become molding data, to do things. The three bitwise operations you're going to need to know. R, and, or, and not. Okay, so AND is going to compare two bits together, and if they equal the same thing, it's going to return that value, the ON or the OFF. If they do not equal, it will always equal OFF. So for instance, 1 AND 1 equals 1, or 0 AND 1 equals 0, or 0 AND 0 equals 0. because Remember, the default, if they don't match up, is off. So, right here, the 1 and the 1 match up, so you get a 1, because that's what the value is. Right here, the 0 and the 1 do not match up, so it's an off. Right here, the off and the off do match up, because it was all, but because it was already off, it stays off. That, that's pretty much the only bitwise operation we're going to get to in today's lecture, because that's all that's important in defining a network address. Remember though, all three bitwise operations are used in all networking operations and all computing operations. So let's uh, get back over here to this IP address and how to use an AND bitwise operation on it to define the network, the network address. So first let's compare this first column, these two numbers. Okay, so the first number we have is a 1 and a 1 in the same column. So we get a 1. The next one we have is a 1 and a 1, so we get another 1. The next one we have a 0 and a 1, so we get a 0. And it's the same thing for the next 5 bits in this byte, or in this octet. Now let's move on to the next one. The next one, we've got a 0 and a 1, so of course we get a 0. And then we've got a 1 and a 1, so we've got a 1, and then 6 more zeros. Now, in the next category, we've only got 1 here too, so uh, 1, 1 here as well. So we're going to take and figure out which column it lines up with and write it down and fill in the rest of the zeros. Now, right here is where it gets tricky. This is how a subnet mask will identify a network because that subnet mask is run out of ones everything from this point on is going to be a zero so those last sets are a zero 
Now that means that you're going to have a uh, environment where uh, it's going to create that network address for you by your subnet mask. So your subnet mask has now created your network for this IP address. The network address is going to be 192.168.8.0. All right, I'd like to give you one more example of bitwise operations and then we'll call it a lecture. Let's do a little bit more of a complicated, um, a little bit more complicated address. Let's take 200.192.168.8.0. Now, here's the tricky part. Instead of using a slash 24 uh, net, uh, subnet mask, this time we're going to use a slash 26. Or 26 bits are active. So that's going to be 255.255.255.192. Okay, let's write these out in binary. So you've got 1101, oh no, 00. zero Let's think this through. Yeah, one one zero zero one zero 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 dot one one zero 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 dot zero 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 one zero zero dot zero 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 one zero zero zero. Okay. Now your subnet mask is going to be one 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 just a whole bunch of ones. Clear until we hit. 26 ones. And then the other six bits are going to be zeros. All right, so let's find a net, this network address. This network address, first let's, let's do this first column, which is going to be 11001000, because where the ones match up, we put a one. Where they don't match up, we put a zero. Then you're going to have 11000000. And then you're going to have 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. And then you're going to have 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. All right, so your uh, network address for this in particular um, IP address is going to be uh, 200.192.4.0. Now let's switch it up a little. Let's change this address to be 200 at the end. So that is going to change this last set to 11010000. So we're going to take and simplify this out again. So of course we've got the same beginnings, which is going to be 11001000, 11000000. Zero one zero zero, except right here is where it's going to change up. Next, we're going to have a one one, and then the rest are zeros because of the subnet mask. See, we got this one and this one, but after that, everything's going to be zero. So our network address for this uh, uh, host address is going to be two hundred dot one nine two dot four dot one nine two. Make sense? Uh, the more you practice this, the better you'll get at it. So I'd recommend practice, practicing this as much as possible. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, today's lecture. Next, uh, we will be talking about uh, broadcast packets, multicast packets, and unicast packets in IPv4 networks. I hope to see you next time.